Hey there everybody, Nick Dutch back on the camera again one more time. Been working very hard today, very tired, so I'm going to try and keep this one nice and brief. Before I get into the body of this one particular video, I'm just going to quickly re-promote something to you, okay? And that is the search facility on the channel page. Now this is actually a very important part of what this whole video project is about, okay? It's been a long video project and it's started since I started doing YouTube. In fact, I did a video a while ago many years ago now in which I was I actually promoted the idea I was trying, trying to turn this one particular channel into like a digital grimoire in its own right full of ideas and concepts and uh, basically you name it being out there and that's essentially more or less what I've done in my own terms so people still ask me all kinds of questions of things I've already answered before during the 1900 plus videos I've done on this one particular fantastic YouTube channel what I'll quickly say is go to my channel page. All right, you can get there through clicking on my name on this one particular video page, and then that'll take you there. There will be a search facility somewhere on that page, and you can type nearly anything into that, and you will get something which will give you pause for thought, give you instruction, give you ideas, and so on and so forth. So use the search facility. Now, I wanted to talk today about the concept of uh, faith. Now, this is again something that I've communicated about before, uh, spoken about before, and I just want to quickly reiterate it. Does it make any sense to you uh, to speak about something that you believe in as if it's a fact? Okay, does it make any sense? Is it helpful? Who is it helpful to? Why is it helpful to them? Okay, because I see this whole thing about talking about something that you believe in as if it was a fact, almost like it's a kind of bullying. Okay, it's a question of, I want you to think the way in which I want you to. And I'm going to try and use all kinds of uh, paranoia techniques in order to try and make sure it happens. And I'm going to do that through trying to convince you that what I think is right is right. And I'm going to do that through talking about it as if it was right. Let's say I believed in, I don't know, alien abduction. All right, it's just as a... An example, okay. Maybe I had to turn around to you and tell you, well, you got to wear a tin foil hat, otherwise you'll be abducted by aliens. You know, I mean, it's an extreme example, but think about it. Way, way back when the um, 2012 stuff was coming along, there were people quite happy to give money to a group of atheists uh, so that the atheists could look after their pets just in case a tribulation happened around 2012. There was a Heaven's Gate cult thing where people actually died because they were given a certain set of beliefs, a certain thing that was believed in was spoken about with such great strength and in such a manner as if it was true that there were people who were actually being poisoned and dying, okay? This is like a form of evil, as far as I'm concerned. So I think that we need, yeah, sure, I mean, by all means explain what you believe, but by all means say what you believe. In certain mainstream TV shows, they always have to put the caveat of, well, this is what I believe, rather than this is actually true. There's a reason for that, okay? Because people can get bullied, they can get put off track. Uh, it's not a question of censorship, it's just a question of stopping bad things from happening. So if you've got a faith position, by all means, fine, that's great, that's wonderful, okay? But think about the way in which you use your words, because if you use your words incorrectly or inappropriately, no matter how pious you may be, all right, in my opinion, you are doing something which is morally wrong because you are damaging the people that you're speaking to. And I just like you to think about that and essentially how words affect behavior. Okay, thank you very much. Nick Dutch out.